Hey, this is Chase from Makefile Tutorial. I want to give you a brief overview of how to run some of these examples. So here I have two terminals, and here's an open file of something called a makefile. Um, it's the only file that exists here, and uh, it's important to name it like this with a capital M. So what's going on in this file? What we have is a couple of targets, and the targets are uh, typically file names, and the point of the targets is to be able to build those file names. So there's a set of instructions called commands that tell you how to build the target, and then there's also a list of dependencies that need to exist before this set of commands runs to build the target. So in this case, we've got a target of blah that has the dependencies of blah.o. You can have more than one separated by spaces, and then these are the commands to run more than one separated by spaces as well. Um, so what we're going to do is just run uh, the command make, and what this will do is it will run the first target because the first target is the default target. So it'll say, I want to make the blah file. And the only way that it can make the blah file is by first making sure that these dependencies exist. So in the case of blah.o, it needs to look for the target blah.o, finds it, and then says, oh, but you need blah.c, so it looks for blah.c. And then blah.c doesn't have any dependencies, so then it runs the commands. And then once those commands are done, then it will run blah.o's commands, and then that will then run blah dot, uh, blah's commands. So when you run make, we'll see uh, first that echo command, so kind of inverted order here, as I was mentioning. And if we ls, we will see that these three files are made, and blah is a command that can be run, it just returns zero, so it doesn't print anything. Um, and notice when we ran this, all three of these targets ended up getting run, but clean did not. Uh, clean is not a special name, I could call it anything. A lot of people when they're making make files make a target called clean, and what clean does typically is cleans up what was generated when you ran make. So if we run make clean, and then type ls, we find that we're just at the make file again. So that's a brief overview. Uh, hopefully that'll allow you to run all of the examples uh, if you read through them.